Well, down here at the Kassam Stadium, the rain is really coming down, but it's a derby between Oxford United and Swindon Town. You can follow me on BBC Oxford Sport throughout the afternoon, giving you updates from the ground. A little bit behind the time, it has to be said, by the time it downloads and gets up. Team news for Oxford today. Eastwood in goal, a back four of Scars, Dunkley, Ragland and Edwards. A midfield two of Rothwell and Lundstrom. Three in behind the striker, Wes Thomas, and that will be Maguire, Johnson and Sercombe. The bench we'll tell you about later on, but that's the side that's going to take on the old enemy they're looking for six in a row will it be six in a row or will Swindon halt that charge Ten minutes gone down here at the Kassam Stadium, Oxford United near Swindon Town near the rain still comes down. It's been a lively opening by the hosts. The visitors trying to knock the ball around deep in their own half and being called out by the front foot the Still remains goodness here after ten minutes. Twenty minutes have elapsed down here. The rain has finally abated. The crowd is bristling. Oxford have been on the front foot. Swindon rarely out of their half. It's a very skinny surface. The tackles haven't really been flying in, but it's a lively encounter here. Oxford United nil, Swindon nil. 20 minutes gone. Thirty minutes gone down here at the United Stadium. It is Oxford nil, Swindon Town nil. Oxford have had the better of the first half. The Reigns had the better of everybody. But it's goalless. Oxford keep going forward. Swindon haven't really made many fires into the Oxford United half. But it's goalless. They need a goal while they're on top. Well, down here at the Kassam Stadium into the 43rd minute. Did Sirkin get clipped or did he fall over involuntary? It's a penalty to Oxford United. Currently, it is goalless between Oxford United and Swindon. But they do have a penalty, and it's the Ice Man. Chris McGuire that will be taking this penalty. The rain has stopped. The fans behind me will no doubt signal exactly whether this is going to be converted or not. McGuire takes his time. Stuart Atwell makes sure everybody's back. A glance across. You won't need me to tell you, but if it goes in, it's 1-0 Oxford. Here's McGuire. Half time down here at the Kassam Stadium. Oxford United lead by a goal to nil. Circum brought down. Maguire dispatched the penalty. Oxford United have, by and large, had the better of the first half, but Swindon are still in this game. It's been raining most of the time. It's been very slippy underfoot. It's a bristling atmosphere inside the Kassam Stadium. But at the break, Oxford United lead by that Maguire penalty scored on 43 minutes. Oxford 1, Swindon 0. As the clouds gather again over the top of the Kassam Stadium, Oxford still lead by one goal to near Maguire's penalty on 43 minutes. We're into the 59th minute here. Eastwood's done a wonderful 1-1 one -one save, but Oxford is still forcing the visitors onto the back foot, and the Swindon keeper is the busier. It's rattling through, 59 minutes gone. Oxford 1, Swindon 0. 63 minutes gone, this is take four. Oxford United lead by two goals to nil. Chris McGuire showing what hard work could do, charging down a clearance from the keeper to get his second of the game into the back of the net. It fairly flew. McGuire scored on 43 from the penalty spot. He's made it two. The fans have maybe take four times to get this clip right under the side of now. Oxford United two, swing the nil in the sixth. The 70 minute update is still with two McGuire goals which separate the two sides here one from the penalty on 43 and one one in 60 minutes but it was a superb bit of effort to shut down the keeper's clearance and it fairly rocketed into the back of the net the fans are on their feet down here if you're a home fan if you're an away fan it's a long journey home 70 minutes gone down here the rain comes down here again the winter has out here in September Thomas goes off for Oxford United, will be replaced by Ryan Taylor. Swindon down to 10 men and losing by two goals to nil. 70 minutes gone. The 70 minute update is still with two McGuire goals. Which separate the two sides here. One from the penalty on 43 and one one in 60 minutes. But it was a superb bit of effort to shut down the keeper's clearance. And it fairly rocketed into the back of the net. The fans are on their feet down here. If you're a home fan, if you're an away fan, it's a long journey home. 70 minutes gone down here. The rain comes down here again. The winter has out here in September. Thomas.
Just goes off for Oxford United. He'll be replaced by Ryan Taylor. Swindon down to 10 men and losing by two goals to nil. 70 minutes gone. 82 minutes on the clock. Oxford United lead by those two Chris McGuire goals to nil. Swindon down to 10. McGuire's been fantastic with his work rate and effort. So has most of the Oxford United side. The fans behind me, 10 out of 10 as well. The Swindon fans have supported their fans, as, their players as much as possible, but they're down to 10 men. They just want a game to finish. Oxford United lead by those two goals to nil. McGuire with those two goals, a penalty and one. And when he charged the clearance stand as well. Rothwell, who had a fantastic game alongside Lundstrom in the middle of the park, has gone off to be replaced by McDonald. But with just moments to go, some seven minutes plus time added on, it looks like the Oxford fans could be partying tonight in Oxfordshire as it's Oxford 2 Swindon here. In time added on, Dan here at Oxford United lead by two goals from there, two goals from Chris McGuire, who got over the match. Several candidates for that, including the fans behind me, enjoying six in a row as Oxford United look as though they're about to make it six in a row against their old enemy, Swindon Town. Swindon Town's keeper made a couple of mistakes. He's also pulled off a blinding stop from Alex McDonald moments ago. But Chris McGuire, Joe Rothwell, you name it, 1 to 11. Oxford United have played exceptionally well. In time added on down here at the Sam Stadium, Oxford United 2, Swindon 0.